But you know what is interesting? You mentioned like people in the business going and dressing up as pro wrestlers for Halloween and doing like marky shit like that. Dude, it happens so much <laughs> that I see. Like, is there is there a certain point where you think like people involved in the business need to sort of like realize they're in the business and not do that sort of shit? Like, or do you think they're just oblivious to it because no one's smart enough? I wasn't really referring to people being fans of the business. If you're a fan no, of the I'm business, that's good. I, I'm trying to talk about the people who are such fans of the business that even when they get in the business, they never crossed over into an athlete. Mm. You know, they're still behaving like a 10 year old on Halloween night, you know, dressing up as their favorite wrestler, right? Like mm. I'm not saying you can't have a favorite wrestler. I have favorite wrestlers. Obviously I cherish the memories of my childhood when I would grow up watching wrestling it was amazing. I'm, I'm sure as it was for everyone. That's why we all, you know, tried to join this business, right? But it's these people, which are the vast majority of the pro wrestlers in the world are the ones who just, they can't change their, their lifestyle to actually be an athlete now. You know, any other sport, you know, any anything, not even just a sport, but any other endeavor, like, you have to now move on and actually become an athlete or a, you know, whatever entity you have to become in order to be that thing that you need to be. You, you can no longer just be a fan anymore. Otherwise, what what's the difference between you and every other fan? You know, and I don't know why these people hang on to this so much. It's like, listen, you want to be a pro wrestler? Be a pro wrestler. You have to be an athlete now. You have to train. You have to eat right. You have to do your do your stuff, okay? You have to, you know, study the game. You have to be prepared for the worst. You know, you have to make your sacrifices. That's that's what comes with the territory. But they still want to have this, you know. Oh, I'm still a, you know, I'm still a fan. I'm still this, you know. Oh, if it doesn't work for me, then, you know, and and that's the people are just selfish. They're just they're just mm. selfish. But, but even you mentioned like people that, you know, don't become athletes and stuff like that. And I've heard people use this in this case. They go, oh, but what about like a Mick Foley? What about a Kevin Owens? They, Mick they're not Foley like, and Kevin Owens are athletes. They, they definitely are. But the they thing is, were fucking athletes. But the difference Kevin is. Kevin Owens still is an athlete. Hundred percent, but the difference is between the, these guys and everybody else. They're one out of a couple of hundred that are signed or were signed to WWE because they have something or they had something special. Mick Foley was one of the best promos and actually could have phenomenal matches. Kevin Owens, phenomenal worker. You know what I mean? And just well, works. Well that's, well, that's what I mean by these people have no idea what they're talking about because, okay, that's what makes them the, you know, the, the, that's what makes them to the, the exception to the rule is that they may not physically visibly look like the standard athlete, but they still are, they still are an athlete. And the majority yeah. of athletes walking around don't look like them. Mm. That's why they become the exception to the rule because they don't look like the average athlete, but they still are. It doesn't change the fact that they're still an athlete. They're still an athlete. And mm. honestly, this is why I, I can't stand a lot of wrestling fans because what they do is they make the stuff that we love. They make the stuff that we actually, you know, put a lot of effort into and, you know, fuck up our bodies for, and they make it shit because mm. how, okay. Pretend you're Kevin Owens. How do you, how would you feel? Honestly, some mm. fat fucking slob in his mom's basement eating fucking Cheetos is like, if he can do it, I can. Like, you're, dis you're, you're disrespecting Kevin Owens. You're disrespecting him totally. You're basically saying that what they're doing is easy, that anyone can fucking do it. No, what they're doing is exceptional, and no one can fucking do it. And mm -hmm. and so-called fans of Kevin Owens and Mick Foley that are like, oh, well, if he can do it, I can do it. How are you even a fan of his if you don't even respect him that much? I think that what he's doing is special. And that's why I say fuck so many of these wrestling fans because they're just fucking. They're look. 
I'll treat you like a fan, and that's it. You're a wrestling fan, okay? And to be quite honest, the majority of wrestling fans that are over the age of 15 are fucking stupid anyway. <laughs> but it's even then, like, I think we've come And I'm not saying that you can't thing. be a wrestling fan over the age of 15. I'm saying that the vast majority of wrestling fans that are over the age of 15 grow to become the fucking idiots online that you all are talking about. The ones under 15 still cherish the wrestling business and are fans of mm. it and enjoy it and come to have fun and bring their friends and they want all the merchandise and the, the toys and the shirts and everything because they, they genuinely love the business, you know? I, 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 I get a lot of fucking pride and happiness when I go to a show and whether I'm the heel or the babyface or whatever, but I see kids in the audience and they're having fun and they're having a good time and they're booing or they're cheering or whatever, but they're, they're enjoying the show. I, I get a lot more happiness out of that than seeing some random fucking neck beard fat slob in the front row, you know, oh, oh you fucked up. Oh, you fucked up. You fucked up your life. Get a fucking job. Like, get a girlfriend. Fucking stop being a, a lonely ass fucking. Like, you people. Like, you know what's funny? I, I went to AWS recently on, on the weekend, right? We're a fly guy. I was genuinely fucking surprised with the amount of normal people in the fucking audience. I was like, can we draw these people all the fucking time? Please. They were fucking. A group of hot chicks in one corner of the room. There were families in the other corner of the room. Everyone didn't look morbidly obese. Like it was a fucking good energy in the room. They lasted the whole time. They were cheering, they were booing. They fucking were there for it. You know, there was a, you know, obviously you have here and there your little weirdo fucking fans and stuff, but the vast majority of people was like maybe 160 or 180 people or something, you know, decent crowd. And uh, I was just genuinely happy to be in front of people like that. Normal fucking everyday people, yeah. you know, of all ages. I was so happy. You know, there was, there was some nice elderly people there. It was, it was good, you know. And uh, we should honestly attract more people like that to come to shows and, and enough of these fucking uh, neck beard fucking, you know, pussies. And it was actually the first time my kids were in the crowd for that show, that Pacific show. Which I hate to tell you, bro. They didn't like you. I'm so sorry. Like I try to convince them they job. didn't like you. They liked the fly. I did my job. Right. I'm not their favorite wrestler either. It's I did my job. <laughs> but even I, like my daughter, who's very self aware, goes, "That's the loudest show she ever been to." My ears hurt. You know what I mean? Like so. Me. To me, I was like, "Yeah, fuck yeah!" Like you know, we did it. You know, but you know, we what? got the reaction out of them. But I feel like even the, the audiences, like the smarks and the marks that go to regular shows and stuff like that, they're the ones that when they go to shows, they chant out fucking stupid shit. They like, yeah, I mean, I've seen that happen as well. Like the referee's doing a 10 count, someone's on the outside, they're trying to throw a number out. Like, so, you know what I mean? Like, they're just, they're there to fucking pop their mates. They're there to, you know what I mean? Like, shut the fuck up. Like, you're not, like, bro, like, I've been at shows, sat in an audience and turned around and said the song, can you shut the fuck up? Like, just let the, like, you're not over, bro. Like, let these cunts fucking perform. Shut yeah. the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. And, just like, and when you have audiences, like, you have that when you market to non-wrestling fans, you're getting fans in that are, A, going to be more respectful for the product. Number two, they're not going to try and get themselves over and chant stupid fucking shit. They're there to fucking have fun. They're there to cheer the guys and girls that they like and boo the guys and girls that they don't like. It's fucking simple. That's right. 